one other way to use smart mates is to use smart mates when you drag and drop a component from a part window directly into the assembly. Here we will open the yellow cover into its own part window, control tab back to the assembly, and delete this cover. Then we'll tile our windows so we can see both the assembly window and the part window at the same time. And we'll minimize the housing and retile. Here, I can bring the cover in directly through drag and drop of a face or edge from the open part window. When you do this sort of smart made operation, you don't need to hold down the Alt key. I'll simply select the edge in the part window and drag and drop that edge to an edge in my assembly that I like to go to. Notice I get the same peg and hole symbol that I had when I alt dragged when the component was already in the assembly. The tab key will indeed continue to do the aligned or anti-aligned adjustment. However, if you have a special case with the hole pattern matching, then the drag and drop from the open part directly to the assembly invokes a different response from the tab key. The tab key now, since I have holes matching up, changes the hole matching. And you can see that evidence by the tab moving about. Let go, and you have brought the part in and created three mates concentric, coincident, and concentric for the holes. And then I can do that again, spin this around, drag and drop, no alt key necessary to here. The tab needs to be adjusted, so I hit the tab key, get the tab up, let go, and I'm done. If you have components that you need to populate in an assembly, and you have multiples especially, it can be very useful to simply open that part in its own window and drag and drop by a face or an edge to the areas you need it to go. Again, no Alt key necessary, and the Tab key will do aligned or anti-aligned, or if the special case for the hole pattern matching comes into play, the Tab key will adjust the hole pattern matching. Very, very nice in repetitive scenarios especially.